It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll get to see a battle for conference superiority. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Giants on Sunday night primetime. We're situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Giants offense ready to go to work, and they'll do so behind Daniel Jones in his sixth season now out of Duke. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where he played in six games, going one and five over that span with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. So first and 10 now from the 30. And his first look is incomplete. Man coverage to start the game, and I expect we'll see a good amount of that. They trust their secondary to hold down the fort and let their pass rushers get home. And that's a good job right on play one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. And Singletary has found a new home with the Giants after successful stints in Buffalo and Houston. He's coming off of three consecutive seasons where he produced over 1,000 yards from scrimmage, and New York is hoping that trend continues. Throwing Jones. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Here's second and ten. Now Jones. And his throw here's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Complete right side to Hyatt. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage, they feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Hey, 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 
Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Early down stuffs have put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And yeah, the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Off the bootleg, Jones. Open man left side, it's a tight end, man hurts. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal. So now it's second down. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. A very lengthy opening drive as this will be play number 12 coming on third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will take it all in for a giant touchdown. Devin Singletary, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start, get out after them, and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you can get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave, and that gives you a little added pep. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Now the Bengals make their way out on offense for the first time, led by their fifth-year quarterback out of LSU, Joe Burrow. Burrow is coming off a year where he suffered his second season-ending injury over a four-year span. And while that's certainly concerning, there's certainly no denying he's truly one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL whenever he's on the field. However, for them to reach their full potential, he has to be out there because as long as he is, this team is a legitimate contender to win it all. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at about the 32. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. 
We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. the play fake here's Burrow and that is incomplete absolutely nowhere to go with the football and he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down From midfield now, Burrow. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Here now a third down and eight. Now Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. A very well-executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Well, that's one way and a good way to get things going offensively. One play in, and they're already on the move. The defense, they're hoping that's not a sign of things to come as this game unfolds. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second and ten. Now it's Burrow. That is caught inside the five. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. So after the main field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. 
obviously they need to make some adjustments there on the back end and yeah, because offensively we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football all defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game from the 31 jones pilot there to grab it on the move past the 40 and finally taken down at the 34. the catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards and the offense is saying to itself right now only they were all this easy because he was wide open and once he made the catch plenty of room to work his way downfield that was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball one that they want to fix immediately so they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 34. They'll give this to Singletary running right. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. On third down, he'll drop to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Joseph's got it and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Joseph now to kick this one away. Pushing his way through. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. He's one of the bigger receivers in the game, CD, and his size that time certainly helped against double coverage. Yeah, you're still a little bit of a disadvantage when you're going against multiple defenders when they're trying to double you and sometimes triple you. But you're exactly right with his build. He could minimize that disadvantage, and he more than held his own and hauled that one in right there. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living 
off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Burrow looking to pass. Open man is Higgins. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. To the air again, Burrow. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. Ah, big time move there by Kayvon Thibodeau. A talented pass rusher out of Oregon. Had a little bit of a breakout season last year. The next step for him, to stack dominant seasons together. And plays like that will certainly help accomplish just that. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. He'll look to throw. Looking deep here for Chase. And he backs it away and it falls down incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, <laughs> right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. 10-3, our score after one here on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. Now second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Giants on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Looking to throw. Jones. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Charlie Jones deep for Cincinnati. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here, first and ten at their own 44. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two yards to go, second down. Play action. It's Burrow. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there. And that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now they go play action now. Burrow. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And Burrow going to throw again. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So nothing doing there. And that'll bring up second down. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Open man is chase complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Burrow will throw. His throw incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now it's Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. McPherson's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after the main field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away.
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The New York set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now Jones. Crossing rock catch made by Johnson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And Johnson is one of those players that I expect to get better and better during his time in the NFL. Long and rangy, a really good catch radius in his pre-draft process, one of the best ones out of the tight ends. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 down at the 33. They'll run on first down with Singletary, taken down at the 30. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they'll send the slot in motion left. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 22-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Throwing Jones. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free. But fortunately, 
had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Singletary, they'll run for it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Well executed fourth down conversion. Yeah, I know this will surprise you, but I've actually done a little bit of reading lately, and all the analytics say that you should go for it more on fourth down. I think someone has referred back to their analytics coach. Maybe he's got a pipeline into the booth because that was a really good play call. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Singletary fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. This Bengal defense, they passed the first two tests. Now it's third and goal. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to add on to that lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Joseph now to have the PAT. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday you have to press it a little bit. This might be the case. In motion goes the tight end. Here's Burrow. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Here now, second and four. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there for Cincinnati. 51 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now Burrow, got a man and he hits him in stride. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. A 
Again, it's Burrow. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That escapes the set. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Burrow taking it in from four yards out. And the Bengals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And he bangs it through and makes it a 17-13 ball game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Joe Burrow who took it himself for the touchdown run. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Well, let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's, he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Jones over the middle, taken in by Neighbors. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First down, he'll drop to throw. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route, and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Here's second and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Again, he'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward.
from the 39-yard line. Here comes second down at six. Back to throw again. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Giants got solid play out of their quarterback in that first half. That's Daniel Jones. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bengals with work to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bengals offense and Jamar Chase set to take over once more. And he was pretty much unguardable in that first half. You see the numbers there as they try to add to him here in this third quarter. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving... Not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Burrow on play action. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man open. It's Chase. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Throwing again, it's Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase 
25 yards for the touchdown. And the Bengals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, in that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. McPherson on for the point after. And that one gives them a three-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones set to take over again. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Second and a couple. Off the bootleg, Jones. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Off the play fake, Jones. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. After the sack, you can understand it maybe been a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish. We looked awfully decisive when he took off and ran. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On the give, this is Singletary. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. And his throw's going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's gonna be a foot or so short. 
There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. The kick by Joseph is good, and that's going to tie things at 20. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And the kick team down there quickly. They don't have to run as far as they used to, and they're able to stop him before he can even make it to the 15. The Bengals offense and Joe Burrow getting set for this next drive. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Bengals drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing again on second and ten. Burrow hits his target. That's Charlie Jones. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance. And this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary. And that's a job well done there. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Burrow will throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially in this part of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. McPherson's kick is good, and they have regained the lead. So it's his third field goal now with the ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home.
So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Well, now how about this return? A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Singletary to get the drive started. They'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 39, here's second down and three. Back to throw, Jones. Throw caught by Hyatt on the slam. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Singletary going to get the handoff. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Behind the chain, second and 12. Looking to throw, Jones. The Bengal pressure gets him that time, down he goes. There's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. The visitors' offense and their wideout getting set to go once more. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open throughout. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now it's Burrow. And that one complete once again to Higgins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. 
And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And they go play action now, Burrow. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Play action. It's Burrow. This one hauled in by Sample. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Here's Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's going to be brought in by Higgins. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Give him 30 yards there. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Brown will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. And McPherson on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New York set to take the field. 
Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Jones. That one taken in by Neighbors. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Now a second and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Logan Wilson, the one who got in there and dropped him to the ground. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Looking to throw, Jones. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Bengals offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes, and he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion. But he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 11. They'll set up to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time.
It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a 7-yard return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Back to throw, Jones, and that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson, and he will take it all in for a giant touchdown. Wandale Robinson. 42 yards and the Giants have made it a one score game again here in the fourth well time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news and we may be a moment because we've got a game again and partner except for those on the west coast where it'll be seen in its regular time right that's the way it works doesn't it but how about that big time drive right there if they're gonna have any chance they needed a touchdown there and they went right down the field and work their way into the end zone. Joseph on for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. A drive that time of six plays. And it was finished up by a touchdown catch from Wandale Robinson. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. There's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has in even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball he's still finding ways to get open finding the right spots and the delivery has been pretty good too he's over 100 yards has the one touchdown score to this point now it's burrow 
Over the middle complete. That's Higgins. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. This one caught downfield by Higgins. And did he get in? No! They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. A big play there for Cincinnati. 53 yards. Oh, man. Disappointment that he couldn't finish that off in the end zone. What an effort there. Doing all he can to get to the pylon, and he's going to wind up out of bounds just short. But a huge play there. Going to set him up with first and goal from very short range. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Moss diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. McPherson now for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Giants offense and running back Devin Singletary headed back onto the field. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. To throw again on second down. Jones. He's going to hit his man. Single. Terry loses it. And the Bengals grab it. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Now inside the 25. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. And out now, here come the Bengals. And they are in an absolutely golden spot. It's first and goal following the fumble return. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble.
On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. Back to throw again. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And we're definitely getting towards the point of the game where not getting a lot of yards is secondary to keeping the clock moving. I mean, to me, that's a double win defensively. Short gain and some more time off the clock. Here's third and six. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Now Jones. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll try again here, second and 10. Jones. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Trey Hendrickson in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, is just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals are going to get the football here at their own 23. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best. But these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles. And a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. But if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he will have a Bengals first down, and it's celebration time on that sideline, and they've earned it. right back to Moss. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Moss on the give up the middle. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. Third and eight. Moss. 
Now it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Forty-three yards on the punt, return of four, and they will take over first and ten. So now Jones and the Giants down by ten. Fifty-seven seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. To throw is Jones. And let's face it, this defense has had a share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. The clock stopped. 50 seconds to play. Second and 10. Here's Jones. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Jones. Connecting with Johnson and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Here's Jones to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Jones. He's got this complete to Robinson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 31-yard line. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Now throw out wide going to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. One final shot. They'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning,